In Strategic Incentives to Human Capital, Claudio Panico, Giovanni Valentini and I focus on the best practices to manage innovation. The central argument of our paper is that firms can choose the degree of decision-making power or autonomy of a knowledge worker in a project as an instrument to motivate her. Our premise is that in a project, knowledge workers and firms may not have perfectly aligned goals. For example, in research, the researcher may want to linger on the more scientific aspects of the project, whereas the firm would like to pursue the commercial aspects. In this context, suppose that a firm can deploy high productive assets for a particular project. For example, cutting edge equipment raises the productivity of the project and enables the production of both a high scientific and a high commercial output. In this case, there is no motivational issue and uh, the pursuit of the scientific goals encourage the workers to exert enough effort in the project that also produces a high commercial output. Suppose in contrast that the firm cannot deploy productive assets for a particular project. In this case, there is a motivational issue. However, the firm can offer the knowledge worker a higher degree of autonomy in the project that the worker can use to drive the project more towards the scientific dimensions than the commercial dimensions. Of course, this is a problem for the firm because the firm would like the commercial dimensions to be pursued more forcefully. However, because the knowledge worker can pursue her own goals, she is more motivated, exert a greater effort, which may then feed back positively on the commercial output of the project. In other words, by offering autonomy, the firm also offers an opportunity to be motivated in the project, exert a greater effort, and also pursue to a greater extent the goal that the firm would like the worker to pursue. This can be shown graphically by the following picture. If, if we put uh, project-specific capital on the x-axis and autonomy on the y-axis, the relationship between autonomy and project-specific capital is downward sloping. When project-specific capital is high, there is no need to motivate the worker and the firm need not offer a high degree of autonomy in the project. In contrast, when project-specific capital is low, there is a need to motivate the worker and in this case the firm can compensate the lack of motivation by offering the worker a greater amount of autonomy.